Good morning, everybody. Okay, it's that time of year. It's that time that we talk about, and that change just hit me in the head. We talk about the Googans. Googans of the Gulf Coast. And I know I don't mean these Googans. I mean the guys at the boat ramp that lose their trailers or their trucks roll back in the, in, into the water and off the ramp. And then the Coast Guard and the wreckers got to come. Reverse, oh reverse. God. Oh my God. Oh! oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This lady. Oh my God. But trust me, I'm probably one of the biggest Googans on the Gulf Coast. I might even try to catch snapper on cane pole. Oh, oh, Jack big one. Him. Jack's big got him. One. That was a lot of fun. And you know, I've rolled my cock a few times and we've had a few people fall out. Get overboard! No, it broke. It totally broke. But I got my coffee here and I'm ready. This year I didn't bring my sunglasses. Even though it makes it a lot better because it's big light right here. It's kind of hard to see, y'all. But there's really like two places, two, maybe three, on the beach and fishing that'll get you a fist bite. And one of them's the pier. Don't cross nobody's line. And the other one is the boat ramp. Don't get stuck in the wash lane, okay? Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about how not to get in an altercation at boat ramp. I want everybody to understand the rules of the road. It's like surfer. Remember that movie Point Break when they had that fight? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about what everybody, I want to make sure everybody understands I stay out of trouble. Don't want situations like that. So here we go. Seven or eight things of why boat ramp can be dangerous. How not to do it. Here we go. I got Jack. Oh, got oh, Jack's got one on the tree truck. I'm Jack, Jack Motley. Been here since 2015. Been away for about 30 days. Sorry about that, guys. It's been a little complicated. How do you like my fishing mug? It's my favorite one. But, but, we're moved in. As you can see, I got my deck set up over here. I got the musket, Blast of the Mohicans. I got me a, a, a black powder horn, which I got for my birthday. And then I just need a tomahawk, but we have my, my K bar instead. American Tomahawk, America. All right, all right, so y'all are saying, what is Guggen? I think there's a lot of misunderstandments or standings about Guggen's. You know, people always, you know, they, they throw a lot of hate at people that are just out there having fun. I just out there having fun, throw all hate, you won't have me because I'm just here to have fun. Maybe a little entertainment. Because there's only really one way to win at being a Guggen. And that's to go down a blaze of glory or with a lot of style like these guys. I mean, when I rolled up to the boat ramp with a big tree trunk to catch fish with, Brant made me hide it. Jack Scotty! I got a Jack oh. <laughs> Holy cow, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen him. Because <laughs> he thought we were going to get hit on some kind of Guggen's page or something. But that wasn't a big deal for me. All right, so rule number one, when you get there, you got to make sure you understand how the flow of traffic goes. Because, you know, these things can be big parking lots. And on Saturdays, since I just moved to Navy Point, all y'all going to know where I live now. Navy Point is like the, the most trafficable, trafficated boat ramp in Pensacola. Like on Saturday, it's all the way down the corner, around the corner, around the bend, like packed. So if you don't know the flow of traffic, there's only one way in really, one way out. People gonna start yelling at you, and around here, people get irrit irritated real fast. It's the guy. Yeah, I know. This is where you tell me all about how locals rule and yuppie insects like me shouldn't be surfing the break and all that, right? You gotta make sure your plugs in. You gotta make sure your straps are off, and you gotta be ready to go time. Now make sure you're straight on the boat ramp because you don't want to be that guy that goes like this all day back and forth. Because you got really like, you got a couple minutes, you got 30 seconds to get that boat in and out before somebody's yelling at you because this is like speed loading. You know, the people, there's two lanes, don't take up both of them. You only take up one. You get in, make sure you're unbuckled, and you move out. But, 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 make sure you're not like Jackson Kayak representative here 
And uh, either forget the parking brake or have your dog accidentally take it off. That is just one of those don't do's. Make sure your parking brake's on because there's too many pictures of trucks taking up the boat ramp in the water. Then you just ruined everybody's day. Nobody's using the boat ramp then. And that reminds me, make sure that the trailer hitch and ball are secure. Toe chains, everybody, because then you'll be like this guy. But no joke, one time I forgot to put the plug in our boat, I was like 16. Safe boat ran right down here in Navy Point, and uh, it nearly sunk. That was, that was a day. Good thing we had a bilge pump, it caught it a little fast. It's kind of like that other time, got caught in the rain, the boat fell up too. Also, number one, that goes for kayaks too. If you're gonna launch the kayak from the boat ramp, there's nothing that'll get boaters feistier than kayaks on the boat ramp. Gotta get to the side, Samantha's texting me. And number two, number two, and probably people won't think about this one, is turn your headlights off if it's nighttime and you're trying to back up. Because the next dude in slot number two and three is trying to back up with your headlights and his rear view mirror. And the locals, they get feisty about that one too. They'll yell at you. It's just, uh, I've never done that. So, number three and four are like, uh, those things that you can kind of put together, catch up at the parking lot, and you don't just sit there in a the boat ramp like this guy that had, I guess had to go catch a sunset with his wife, forgot to park the truck. But remember, another rule of the parking lot is if you're a single car, don't park in a boat trailer parking spot. That's just a no-no, because then there's gonna be another dude with a trailer that can't park there. But the throwback to that is, if you're in a car or truck with no trailer or a kayak dude, you gotta park on the other side of the parking lot. And that can be a walk sometimes. The next one always happens at the Blue Angels. When you're trying to, you know, kind of tie off, everybody wants to tie off on somebody else's boat, make sure that you do that with somebody's permission. You can break some stuff. Scratch up somebody's $50,000 boat, break a rod tip, make sure you got those bumpers down or you got a plan. Cause some of these dudes fight you on something like that. That's like, you know, when your dog goes on somebody else's yard while you're walking the dog and the neighbor saw you out the window and then posted it online. It's like one of those things. Like just don't anchor up on somebody else's boat. That's it's no bueno. And the last one, the last one, been guilty of a time or two. And it's probably a million view video if anybody ever does this. I wouldn't say do it, but you know, just park in the, wa the wash down rack and wait for people to sign notes and stick them on your car saying F you and move and I hate you and all these things. I mean, they get serious about the wash rack. You know, the one where you pull up off the boat ramp, pull over and you spray your boat down. Well, there's like some kind of unwritten timer there that uh, you're there longer in about 15 seconds, somebody's getting mad. And I don't understand when fishing got that serious. I thought we were just having a good time. But these guys will fight you over it. I about had that happen one night last summer, and I wasn't even in my boat. But you know, let's bet sometimes we just gotta run our mouth from the sidelines. Especially after a few. It's pretty nice, yeah. All right, but that's all I got today, guys. I wanna kick this thing back off, full drive to the YouTube thing in the new office. Got a lot of echo going on in this office, but Give me time, I ate those little styrofoam things up in here. Be ready to go. It's warming up, it's beach time, almost. We're in April showers, and then we got crazy wind coming. It's been raining for like a week. But I'll see you guys next time. Trying to get back in the swing of things. See you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, criticize. I'm sure you guys got something to say. We always do on the internet. See you later.